In order to find the tolerance analysis between a shaft should be inserted in a bushing. So you could see here there is a shaft in red and the bushing in blue and there is a space which is the clearance and it is the safety between the two. And I'm really here and always the clearance must be not must not be less than 0.002 inches and there is no maximum to it. Okay. Another point we need to <coughs> to make sure of it like we bought the bushing and the guy in the shop he told us that the nominal dimension is 0 0.75 the lower level tolerance is minus zero the upper level tolerance is 0 0.0020 okay so uh, first things we need to do yes we know that those are the dimension written on the box but they are not accurate So those are the dimension written on the box, but they are not accurate. So what do you do in this respect? Okay, so we have the bushing and we know for sure, like if you consider all the measurement of the bushing, they must have a normal distribution. So the value in the middle is 0 0.75. The value on the left is minus zero, like as lower level tolerance. So here is literally 0 0.75 minus zero. And the value here is 0 0.75 plus 0 0.0020. So definitely the one in the middle is 7510. So this is how we got this value. Concerning the shaft. So we have 0 0.75 minus 0 0.0028. And 0 0.75 minus 0 0.0016. So the value in the middle is 0 0.7428. Okay, so 0 0.7478. Okay, so here, so again, we this one is 0 0.75 minus 0 0.0028 and 0 0.75 minus 0 0.0016. So we got here 0 0.7472, 0 0.7484. Then the one in the middle is literally 0 0.7478. Okay, how did we get this plus minus 0 point from 0 0.7478 to this one there is 0 0.306 and from 0 0.7510 to this one there is 0 0.001. Okay, so in order to find the worst case value, the worst case here you know the column zaydin or column noxin. So here 0 0.001 zayd and now here the zayd and now 0 0.0016. The room of the sum square literally we take the square root of 0 0.001 plus 0 0.006 power two. Okay, and we got this value. So the first step is to find the mean clearance. Is 0 0.7510 minus 0 0.7478 0 0.0032 so we differentiate those two like so we subtract those two 0 0.751 minus 0 0.7478 so we got this value okay and we have the worst case which already calculated as 0 0.0016 and the root sum squared as 0 0.0017 okay so we know that C, which is the clearance of the difference between the bushing and the shaft, the tolerance are summed. Components tolerance are always summed. You can think of the absolute value cancelling the negative sign for worst case and the square for tolerance cancelling for RSS. Therefore, we consider the root sum square as a condition. Okay. So we have the C maximum. We have the predicted range, predicted range for clearance is literally 0 0.0032 plus minus 0 0.00117 okay so we have uh, the c minimum and then the c maximum value is equal, equal 0 point okay uh, 0003 and 0 0.0044 so we have the c minimum and then the c maximum value but i need to bring your attention that uh, since We've got the average, which is 0 0.0032, but we've not got the standard deviation. And we know that we all all familiar with the concept of six sigma, which is like the mu plus three sigma and the mu minus three sigma. So that level of six sigma. So the tolerance of 0 0.00117, okay, will be equal to the tolerance value of 0 0.00117, which is the root sum square 
that value will be equal to 3 sigma okay implies sigma is equal to 0 0.3039 okay so we have now uh, in our in our system so I'm gonna write sigma here 0 0.0039 so in our system we have the average we have the standard deviation so let's calculate the values we really need okay we calculate the values we really need to see uh, what are the amount of units to be rejected per million so now we have the clearance normal distribution as you would see it here defined by the average and the standard deviation I need to bring your attention again they said the minimum clearance must not be less than 0 0.002 inches so the 0 0.002 is the value is to the left so all must not be less than zero so this is rejected so this is the clearance here and all the path from starting from 0 0.02 all the way up is accepted okay so we need to find the z value here at this point okay so literally z is equal remember x equal mu plus z sigma so z equal x minus mu divided by sigma so 0 0.002 minus 0 0.0032 divided by 0 0.0039 is equal minus 3.08 sigma which is the x values here okay so when you put this in the table which is available in the first lesson we get a percentage of 99.89% so this value here is a percentage of 99.89% okay those are the one are to be accepted and then the rejected is one minus this amount probability one minus this amount okay but when you multiply it by million this number will come up to 1000 okay so let's recap what did we do here so we need to find the tolerance analysis of inserting a bushing or inserting a shaft using a bushing so we bought we bought we bought both items from a shop we say we've been given those information here okay what happened here i need to bring your attention although it's a nominal dimension 0 0.75 and lower level minus 0 upper level is 0 0.002 and for the shaft 0 0.75 minus 0 0.020 it's minus 0 0.0016 okay but we don't really just consider the nominal dimension as it is okay and the nominal dimension honey it seems like we have to force a shaft in the pushing because both they have the same value but we didn't uh, we're not gonna consider those values. The amine hone no tabana in no zero point seventy-five minus zero and see null bonus zero point seventy-five plus this value. The lanal bonus said the conano he exactly symmetric nafs she hone zero point seventy-five minus zero point zero twenty-eight to zero point seventy-five minus zero point to the lanal bonus. When he plus minus zero point zero six and the hammer la hem and the hammer la header value. Same here from this value to that value from here to there. How much did we get? And we have the worst case, worst case, minus my kill minus saw, kill plus saw. We root some square as we did here. The line and nominal here, that value here, that value, we find the difference between them and we consider that root some square equal to three sigma. Three sigma lay and we have six sigma. Therefore, we now have. <coughs> Excuse me, we now have the standard deviation of 0 0.0039. We have the average and the standard deviation. 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 1011 unit